another week and another bunch of information for Elite Dangerous Odyssey. This has come fresh from the latest Frontier livestream on Elite Dangerous. We start with the news on VR. As you probably can tell from the video title, this isn't good news. Frontier have confirmed that there will not be any further development for virtual reality support in Odyssey. It will continue to support uh, VR in its current form, that is, a flat screen projected when you leave your ship. Frontier have also said that they will fix the current bugs that are in the uh, current VR implementation, and this will include the fix for the DSS, which uh, currently has some issues with the targeting reticule when in VR. Beyond these fixes and changes to VR support though, there won't be any further development or improvement done in that particular area. At least not any time soon. Basically, there's no work currently being done on it and there's no plans to do any work on it. Of course, things do change. Uh, maybe sometime in the future it will happen. But as of right now, Frontier don't expect it to be a thing any time soon. So yes, a huge, huge disappointment. Many of you will know that I'm a big fan of virtuality. And up until now, at least, Elite Dangerous has always been perhaps one of the best examples of VR games out there. That now changes with the removal, or the lack of support rather, for Odyssey. Big shame. And if I'm being blunt here, I really do think Frontier have misled players here. Let's have a look at a forum post from a few months ago, or this time last year. So this was from the community manager, and on the VR section it says, Currently, Elite Dangerous Odyssey will not be VR compatible at launch. We're big fans of VR and we are truly proud of the amazing experience that we currently offer in Elite Dangerous. However, the new gameplay mechanics and features that will be introduced into Elite Dangerous Odyssey means that we had to re-examine if we could deliver that same experience without compromise, which, for launch, means Odyssey will not be VR compatible. And I emphasise the for launch part there because I feel that is the area which is very, very misleading. Now, to be perfectly fair to Frontier, they did, after this particular post, go on to say that uh, Odyssey will have a VR uh, capabilities in its form that we eventually got, which was projected VR, so not true VR support. When they wrote this uh, community post, there was going to be a no VR support at all. So, yeah, things did change a little bit. But the not at launch phase, like with ship interiors, no ship interiors at launch, is a massive, massive problem. It's a phrase that really needs to be thrown out and never used again, unless Frontier actually do mean it. And honestly, I think it's more than fair to say that Frontier have misled the players here. They've misled people into uh, thinking that they're buying something that they're actually not, or that there's going to be development on specific areas of the game that weren't actually going to happen. If Frontier weren't sure about this, they should have been more clear about that than just outright admitted that they didn't know where things were going. And this just takes me kind of a little bit onto another thing that they mentioned in today's live stream. A question was asked by chat in the live stream whether or not there will be additional content coming to Odyssey, and Frontier said yes, there will be a future content. But really, I'm very cautious how we take their words on that. Uh, not saying they're lying, I don't believe that for a second, but let's not get too much hopes up as to the scale of that content. If I was going to speculate here, I would think that the uh, recently uh, data mined files which found SRVs and new ships could be a potential thing, as well as some potential as well for uh, Thargoid based FPS combat. Beyond that though, I wouldn't go expecting too much, but time will tell I guess. Either way, from this point forward, Frontier need to avoid really misleading the community. They need to be very, very careful over the types of things they say. So. When I say future content is coming for Odyssey, uh, is that big content? Is it little content? Is it something in between? People are going to start speculating, so be very, very careful with how you manage expectations there. For now, personally, I'm taking it with a pinch of salt. Again, I'm not saying there won't be anything, but I'm not having huge expectations. I think that is perhaps the wisest approach. So, moving on from this extremely disappointing VR news, there are some information, or some information about update four for Odyssey. So this is a part of the uh, many fixes and bugs, corrections, and all of that lark. Uh, lighting fixes, these are being worked on. We know and have said for ages that the Odyssey is far too dark in many areas, especially on the dark side of the planet where you can see absolutely nothing. 
But other than that, you get a little bit too far away from a star, maybe at 4,000 light seconds, and it can get almost as dark. Frontier have confirmed that this is not working as intended, that the game is too dark. This is going to be a tweaked and fixed. Some of that we will see in update 4, which is due for release on Thursday. Also, the star field is currently too dim. Uh, this is also going to be corrected and returned back to something similar to Horizons levels. Additionally, there's issues with neutron stars. These are not working right at all, a little bit too bright, I think. Uh, some lens flare issues going on there. Now, these may be fixed with update 4, but it could possibly be fixed with uh, update 5. Beyond that, uh, the Horizons bases, that is the bases that have been available in Horizons, these are in Odyssey, they're going to have some lighting improvements. Landing pads are also getting some lighting improvements, no details yet on exactly what those are. Moving on to the Galaxy map, this is going to have a few fixes, specifically with the bookmark UIs. The flow for how this works, that is navigating to them as well as removing them, is going to be improved. Also, Nebula will once again be searchable from the Galaxy map. Further UI improvements will be coming to the outfitting screen. I believe that is a part of update 5 though, rather than update 4. Outside all of this, perhaps most important information of all, optimization and performance fixes, there was no word on this whatsoever. So personally, I'm expecting to see some minor improvements for performance in update 4. Maybe some people will see them, but overall, I don't think there will be any significant improvements. Finally, there was no word again on planetary tech or when we can expect to see improvements there. That then brings us to an end of this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.